annual examinations in secondary school and madrasas this year. All students will get promoted to next class, informs Education Minister. Parliament to go into special session from November 8, marking Mujib year. Unloading of nuclear reactor pressure vessel for country's first nuclear power center starts through Mongla port. Party President Sheikh Hasina instructed authorities to resolve any allegation about Awam League's associate organizations committees in light of party constitution, reveals Obaidul Kader. TCB starts sale of potatoes at 25 Taka Park KG in capital as Agriculture Minister assures of government monitoring to ensure potato sold at fixed price. Biggest Hindu religious festival Durga Puja begins with Shoshti Puja tomorrow as gala celebrations to be avoided this year. World record 6,128 corona deaths in single day as total toll tops 11,31,000. And Najmul and Tamim 11's Lockhorns in B to qualify to BCB President Cup Cricket Final. Assalamu alaikum, this is Kim Yorin welcoming you to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World and BTV Chartogram Center. Those were the headlines, let's move on to the details. The annual examinations at the secondary schools and madrasas will not be held this year due to COVID-19 pandemic. All the students will be promoted to the next class. Education Minister Dr. Deepu Moni said this at a virtual press conference today. Deputy Minister for Education Mohibul Hassan Choudhury Nofal and high officials of the ministry were also present at the event. The Education Minister said, the students will be given assignments every week based on a syllabus prepared for completing it within 30 working days. এবার কোন বার্ষিক পরীক্ষা হচ্ছে না আমরা এই 30 কর্মদিবসের এই সিলেবাসটি সংক্ষিপ্ত সিলেবাসটি আমরা আবার করব এটি অনেকটা যারা ইতোমধ্যে করেছেন তাদের জন্য একটা রিভিশন মত হবে আমরা এই মূল্যায়নটা যে করছি এই মূল্যায়নটাও যেন কোনো ধরনের চাপ সৃষ্টি না করে কারণ এই প্যান্ডেমিকের মধ্যে এমনিতেই নানান ধরনের একটা চাপ তো আছে তো আমরা চাই না যে এই মূল্যায়ন দিয়ে আবার কোন রকমের অতিরিক্ত চাপ Unloading of the main equipment of Rupur nuclear power plant, including nuclear reactor pressure vessel, nuclear burner and steam generator, has been started at Mongla port. These equipments reached Mongla port last night, completing the journey of about 14,000 kilometers in waterways. Chairman of Mongla Port Authority, Rear Admiral M. Shah Jahan said, unloading activities of the equipment of Rupur nuclear power plant will be completed by November 5 next. Meanwhile, Project Director of Rupu Nuclear Power Plant, Dr. Mohammad Shaukat Akbar, told Bangladesh Television that the equipment will be taken at newly built Rupur Naval Port situated beside the project area through riverways via Chandpur by November 20 or 21. On the occasion of the Muji Bar Show, a special session of the 11th Jatiyo Shongshod will begin on November 8. A Parliament Secretariat press release today said, President Mohammad Abdul Hamid called the session exercising the power bestowed upon him as per Clause 1 of Article 72 of the Constitution. Speaker Dr. Shirin Charmin Choudhury has emphasized on associating women entrepreneurs who face loss due to coronavirus with the innovative digital model for recovering from the situation. She said this while addressing a virtual panel discussion titled Women Entrepreneurship in Bangladesh organized by American Chamber of Commerce AMCHAM in Dhaka today. Dr. Shirin Charmin Choudhury took part in the discussion through video conference from her residence. 
Luna Shamsu Doha chaired the discussion, which was also addressed by BTME President Dr. Rubana Hawk and Chief Executive Officer of Pran RFL Group Uzma Chaudhry. World Bank Country Director to Bangladesh, Murchi Myang Thembon, Amcham Executive Committee Member, Eni Raza Shikharan, and Business Specialists took part in the panel discussion through video conference. Dr. Shirin Charmin Chaudhry said, all have to think about the ways through which women entrepreneurs can be benefited using the government incentives. She urged the women entrepreneurs to avail the credit facilities government announced for helping the entrepreneurs. Awami League General Secretary Obaidul Qadir has said, Party President Sheikh Hasina has directed to resolve any complaint as per party constitution about the new Committee of Associate Bodies announced recently. Obaidul Qadir said this while briefing journalists from his government residence in the capital this morning. Mentioning that solution is available in the party constitution against any complaint about committee, Obaidul Qadir said, Party leaders and activists can submit allegations before the tribunal on this according to the constitution. About BNP's allegation on absence of electoral environment in the country, Ubaidul Qadir said, election environment was full of clash and deaths in the local and national polls during the tenure of BNP government. <laughs> পূর্ণাঙ্গ কমিটি ঘোষণা করা হয়েছে এবং অচিরেই আমাদের যাচাই বাছাই চলছে বিভিন্ন জেলা এবং মহানগর কমিটির পূর্ণাঙ্গ কমিটিও ঘোষণা করা হবে ঘোষিত কমিটির কোনো বিষয়ে কিংবা আপত্তি থাকলে প্রতিকার পাওয়ার ব্যবস্থাও রয়েছে ডিউরিং দ্য পেন্ডামি the export volume of this sector is playing a vital role in the national economy. Once largely dependent on import, Bangladesh's pharmaceutical industry is now growing very fast, fulfilling almost 10% domestic demands. This sector has been gaining significant growth in export volume for years. Twenty-four COVID-19 patients died in the last 24 hours in the country, increasing the death toll from the pandemic to 5,723. The recovery count rose to 3,8845 ,8 after another 1,704 recovered during the period. A press release of the Director General of Health Services said today. He said the tally of infections has surged to 3,93,131 with 1,545 new cases being confirmed. Moving on to international news. COVID-19 global death toll crosses 11,31,000 as 6,128 people died in the last 24 hours globally. More than 4 crore 11 lakh 89,000 are infected globally. More than 3 crore 7 lakh 8,000 people have recovered so far. The U.S., the current epicenter of the pandemic, has now 85 lakh 24,139 confirmed cases and 2 lakh 26,273 deaths. India, which is in the second spot in the list of nations worst hit by coronavirus, has now about 76 70,537 confirmed cases and 1,16,068 deaths. In Brazil, the total death toll from COVID-19 is 1,54,888, while 52,74,817 people were infected. Meanwhile, Brazil plans to use a Chinese-made coronavirus vaccine as part of a national immunization program. Officials said the federal government had agreed to buy 46 million doses of the vaccine CoronaVac. They said the immunization program could begin as soon as January 2021, making it one of the first such efforts in the world to fight the pandemic. Back to national news. 
Durga Puja, the biggest religious festival of the Bengali Hindu community, will begin tomorrow with Mohashushti Puja at temples across the country amid festivity and religious fervor following the prescribed health guidelines in the face of the global pandemic coronavirus. On the occasion, preparations at all the puja mandops have nearly been completed as artisans are busy giving final touches on idols and panels across the country, marking the festival. All kinds of celebration, including cultural program on the occasion of Durga Puja, have been cancelled this year for Corona pandemic. Leaders of Bangladesh Puja Japan Porishat said they have taken all necessary steps to maintain health guidelines, including keeping safe distance at every Puja Mondovs across the country, including Taka. Devotees and visitors have also been discouraged to gather at the temples. Law enforcement agencies will cooperate to celebrate the festival amid peace and friendship. Bangladesh Awami League and its associate organizations will provide health materials at every temple all over the country. Durga Puja will end on October 26, the day of Bija Doshumi, amid immersion of goddess. Now news on weather. Met Office says, under the influence of well-marked low lying over West Central Bay and adjoining area, squally weather may affect the North Bay maritime ports and coastal areas of Bangladesh. Maritime ports of Chotogram, Cox's Bazar, Mongla and Paira have been advised to keep hoisted local cautionary signal number 3. I repeat, signal number 3. All fishing boats and trawlers over North Bay and Deep Sea have been advised to come close to the coast and proceed with caution till further notice. Now news from the world of sports. Tamim 11 are now batting against Najmul 11 to chase the victory target of 164 runs in the BCB President's Cup cricket tournament. Tamim 11 scored 102 runs for three wickets in 28 overs when reports last came in. Earlier, Najmul 11 won the toss and decided to bat first. They were all out on 165 runs in 39 overs, three balls. In the both innings, nine overs were curtailed due to rain and target was revised. Before we end the bulletin, headlines once again. No annual examinations in secondary school and madrasas this year. All students will get promoted to next class, informs Education Minister. Parliament to go into special session from November 8, marking Mujib here. Unloading of nuclear reactor pressure vessel for country's first nuclear power center starts through Mongla port. Party President Sheikh Hasina instructed authorities to resolve any allegation about Awam League Associate Organization's committees in light of party constitution, reveals Obaidul Kader. TCB starts sale of potatoes at 25 Taka Park in capital as Agriculture Minister assures of government monitoring to ensure potatoes sold at fixed price. Biggest Hindu religious festival Durga Puja begins with Shoshi Puja tomorrow as gala celebrations to be avoided this year. World record 6,128 corona deaths in single day as total toll tops 11,31,000. Najmul and Tamim 11's lock horns in B to qualify to BCB President Cup Cricket Final. That's all from the newsroom for the moment. Thank you for being with us and we invite you to watch our next news at 11.30 in Bangla. Until then, Khuda Hafiz.